Dak Prescott won't face charges. Now, this is goes back to my cowboy thing. It's always something with this fucking group. <clears throat> um, Jerry Jones has like six assault cases pending. Um, this guy, he's got kids out of wedlock. All if your leader and captain in chief is always fucked up, how do you think this program underneath you is gonna be? This team hasn't won since Troy Aikman retired. This team is be is the same old shit every single year. It's always an excuse. Now you got this clown Michael Parsons chasing clicks on podcast who says he can average 20 points in a fucking NBA game. It, it, like, dog, this is becoming like outside noise, and they never understand what the actual, like how to keep my eye on the prize. They have no clue what that means. And this team is always distracted by some other outside noise period um well listen in the case of dakota prescott i think he is there's no evidence and this is a simple case of a woman made something up in an attempt to extort dak prescott for millions of dollars and i think beyond a reasonable doubt the lawyer will prove that there's no evidence in this case um they dropped dropped everything i think right this could happen to you me any male in the chat this is the sad right. truth of today, and what it does is it completely underlies the real fact of when someone does actually get essayed, um, no one believes it because of stuff like this. This is a woman who likely met Dak Prescott at one point, um, and she thought, oh, guess I can get a payday. Let me make it up. Um, there's just there's no fact behind it. I don't even address this because it's a shame this happens to people, um, and hopefully her extortion plot will be foiled and she will be sued. Here, here's the thing. I agree 1,000%, and that is not my point on this discussion. This is what I mean. We have seen – listen, I've defended my players. I, I've seen this in person. I've seen – look at the kid for the Dodgers who's not even back in the league. Look at the tra- the Horizon kid at Buffalo. Look Real at these- quick, Coach, before yep. you get into your point, let me just make one point. This is why it is very important for every male in America to make sure you do things – with your, when you're drunk, make sure you understand what you're doing when you do it, okay? That's why when you come home to your house, have a camera inside your home to make sure you're protected against things like this, okay? Make sure when you go out, okay, you know what you're doing. Everything you do, you have to make sure you're very aware because you can put yourself in a bad situation and before you know it, you say, God damn, why did I do that? Yeah, I- and, and, and as, a, as a father of a daughter, I tell the daughters and the females the same shit. Like, I used to sit down, and Alan and guys in the chat who played for me at the time would tell you, I would get the female sports teams on campus at Independence, and their, I would talk to their coach, and I would say, hey, can I speak to your girls? And I used to talk to those girls more than my guys. And I would say, if these fucks come into your dorm room at, after curfew, And you let them in. You are the problem. You allow this dumb fuck in. If this kid breaks into your room, obviously he's going to go to jail. He's going to be out this fucking team. So please understand, I don't allow I don't allow women to come into men's dorm rooms at night after curfew. I didn't allow girls in my boys' rooms. So there's a difference, Jeff. As you know, you may know or not know, but there's a lot people don't understand. There is a difference between letting a female in your room as a man and as the man going to the female's dorm room in college. But to me, though, there's still a level of, if I don't let anyone into my house, I don't have to worry about it. Because this is why it's very important. Like when you're drunk, for instance, it doesn't matter how hot a girl is. Give her your number. Give me a call tomorrow. Okay, you take her home and maybe she's not as drunk as you. And she wakes up and says, what happened again? Oh, but wait. It goes, hey, it goes back I don't, to the small head out thinking the big head. That's what they used to say back in the day. Yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. So if you're into me, give me a call tomorrow. We'll go out and we can decide at that point what we want to do. But some, I don't understand some of these guys. just They'll just take any chick home. And it's like, first of all, you don't know who the fuck she is. First of all, she can rob the fuck out of you, drug you, and take everything you have. All for a couple of minutes. Or, or, or she's setting you up and there's dudes waiting outside. That's, your house. And that used to, ha- that happens around, that used to, ha- when I lived in Philadelphia, that would happen all the time. You'd go home, you'd take a girl, she'd say, hey, I got a place. 
You take a girl home, she takes you to some row home that you think is her house. You walk in and you're fucking, you know, tied up and they take everything you have. I, I, I want to be clear on, I don't believe Dak Prescott did anything, but I don't know. Same thing with Deshaun Watson. All we can say is the, when there's smoke, there's fire. Deshaun Watson's case. This is from what I understand is Dak's first issue. But I have an, I've seen these many times. Um, these females should absolutely be thrown in jail, in my opinion. Yep. Um, but here's the issue I have. That's not the point I was making at all. The point I'm making is this is always happening with the Dallas Cowboys. This is the only thing I have to say, uh, regardless of who's right, wrong, or indifferent. The Cowboys seem to always have this gray cloud over that particular organization that they just cannot avoid. It's similar to the L.A. Clippers. Always have something. Like something's – when Troy Aikman and Emmitt Smith left, a fucking curse was dropped. I don't know what, but it seems to be there, San Francisco with the Niners, and right here in L.A. with the Clippers. Those three well, organizations. Coach, I think you're – I think you're being a little tough on the Cowboys. And, and look, I don't like the Cowboys, but the, what about the Kansas City Chiefs? I mean, how many guys have they had uh, have trouble with the law? I mean, that's my all point. sorts of – Yeah, 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 I agree. And that's I, I brought that up before on the show. I'm like, these motherfuckers have the son of the coach. The head coach's other sons had, you know, po- unfortunate mishaps. You've had coaches, players. I mean, it, it's on and on going thing. When they hit rock bottom, it's going to be a bad rock bottom. And that's just my point. Like, at the end of the day, I am a guy that believes in karma. And at the end of the day, when you keep robbing Peter to pay Paul and you keep playing guys because they can play over character, and that's what the NFL is, let's just be real. Tank Johnson will tell you, this is what the NFL picks. They pick player over character. Look at Tyreek Hill. Look at all the guys that we've seen on camera cock back and actually fucking strike a female and still play. Well, Ty- it, Tyree Kill is is arguably one of the biggest low lives in sports. He is a vile human being. Um, he's a guy who, if you root for him, I have to really ask about your moral character. I have to really ask about the kind of man you are. Um, this is what's amazing about sports is we will allow a fandom to overtake our moral and ethical values isn't that insane to you? This is a guy who we have, we know for a fact he was convicted of beat his pregnant girlfriend up. His kid had a broken arm. Where did that come from, do you think? Do you actually think a, a common guy who's had domestic problems where you don't think he did that? What did he go to court? Yeah, because he's Tyreek Hill. Not hard to understand. This yeah. guy is a complete low life. Yeah, it, it, it's wild. Holy. It's wild. Um but coach, would you ever allow a team, a fan, not that you're a fan or anything, but would you ever allow a, fa- a fandom to say, I'm going to root for that guy? If Tyree Kill came to a team that I'd root for, how could you support that? I don't, I couldn't. I, I, I that's what, yeah, see, I've never been a LeBron guy. I hated when he came to the Lakers. I hated when he came to the Lakers. Um, so it's like, ah. Uh, Fuck, man. And when you have a kid, Jeff, it's even times 10. Like, I got a daughter, and, and, and that's why I never took those kids to Independence or any other school I've ever been at. Plus, I had a female boss. I have a daughter. I respect women, uh, uh, contrary to the belief that I don't want a woman coaching, so I'm an asshole. No, I actually respect women. I would not let my daughter come around an NFL locker room. Are you fucking crazy? This is why the women that coach who are one to coach, no offense to Becky Hammond, she's not actually the most fucking feminine club goer I've ever seen. Let's just be real. I don't know how she'll look in fucking pumps in a goddamn tight dress. It's the manliest looking females on planet Earth who want to coach. Why aren't we seeing baby girl trying to go coach the fucking Colts? Why, why aren't we seeing that? See, see, when I see that, and that's when I'll start to say, you know what? I don't mind co- women coaches in the NFL. But until I see that, Jeff, when the motherfucking broad wants to coach who's interviewing is in her suit and it's ripping her fucking shoulders out because she's so swole, I have a fucking fundamental issue. Like, this is what we're seeing. And this is why I don't like wa- watching MMA and females box. 
I don't want to see it. First of all, they look, most of them look like men. Second of all, no offense to them, but I'm just telling. Second of all, if you do look fine as fuck and you're beautiful and you come home to me with a fucking face that looks like Mike Tyson just took you out around the back, I don't want to fucking date you no more either. See, I have to say, I, I don't I don't mind a girl that will get a, you know down and dirty for something, you know. It, down and dirty with the public's one thing, Jeff. But doing it professionally and coming home with dirty feet and black yeah, eyes. Yeah, it's so. almost a level. I, I I just wouldn't want – you're right. I wouldn't want my wife coming home, you know, beat up and bruised. That will bother me. You know, who did that to you? You know, again, I also wouldn't want my wife being fucked on camera every day either. You know, but there's a lot of things I wouldn't want my wife doing. I would prefer my wife just stay home and, and do what she want to do and cook and clean and go get her nails done. That's what I want out of life. That's just my opinion. It might not be yours. Um, but case in point with this woman, she should be charged with extortion and she should go to jail because this is wrong. And what it does is, again, it devalues every other woman that actually is S.A. OK, that's the, the truth. Shout out to uh, the state of Arkansas, the state of Alabama. Um, a few other states have come out and they have said to Joe Biden, fuck your Title IX rules and laws. This was put in in 1972 for a reason. See, this is the crazy part, Jeff. I defend real women for what real women should be defended for. But when I say that they shouldn't coach, I'm a womanizer. I'm an asshole. You're a Hold misogynist. Me. Hold me. I'm defending women at all time cost. I don't want you fucked with, ladies. But I'm the asshole. Because I'm the one that says men should not be able to pull their dick out of the public restroom around a female. But guess what? No, no. Then I'm the asshole? Wait, what's, what am I? Am I the one defending the women? Or am I the one that's an asshole because I want some weirdo fuck to change around my daughter? I want some weirdo fuck with flipper sized feet to race my daughter in swimming. I want some weirdo fuck to go wrestle my daughter in a wrestling match. And I want some weirdo fuck to go out there and sh and sh out shot put and throw the discus versus my fucking biological daughter. Yeah, that's make it make sense. I I don't know if you've heard the latest story, Jeff, but five females said fuck you to a trans that came out and tried to compete against them. I saw that. Yeah. They were suspended. Those five girls were suspended from further participating in athletics at the school. How the what? How fucking upside down are we? As a side, like inside, maybe we're inside out. I mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on, but like now I don't know if you saw last night. Those five actually sued in a pro. They got a uh, what's called a uh, a writ of stay, which is a very quick executed law of filing, and they won. So shout out. I'm glad that we still have some good people, good judges and good uh, uh, people out there in uh, the judicial system uh, upholding the actual rights of women and uh, what they stand for. I just don't understand how ass backwards we are. We rather defend and, and promote a female who looks like a dude to coach men rather than defend a biological man competing versus a biological woman in sports make that fucking make sense this is why the all-inclusive inclusionary time period that we are in is ruining the fabric of america period that's why i'm so against this inclusion thing that's why i'm against the woman that's why i'm uh, coaching men this is why I'm against it. It's just because when you give an inch, Jeff, it's going to become a foot. Once the woman gets in there, then there will be a woman playing in the, or on your NFL's favorite team, Jeff. You're going to have a female playing for the Eagles, Jeff, and then you're going to be like, what the fuck are we doing? You're going to look back at this time and say, fuck, JB has been telling Smitty this shit. JB has been telling Jeff this shit. We're, we stack shit up and it ends up being true. And that's what we're doing. We're easing it in. Look at it's flag football, Jeff, right now in the Pro Bowl. And look at now we've had nine states in our union adopt women's flag football leagues in high school as a sport. As a sanctioned sport, we have female flag football. Just wait. Just wait. It's coming, man.
See, Ellie. this is where, like, like who cares? Like, good for them. Like, wh why does that bother you so much, though? I don't get that's it. Not, well, that, that you must not have heard anything I said. That's but, 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 no, I did. But but again, like, if, if a woman, like, I've seen women going out and playing. Like, what? Like, did you have an issue with the lingerie football league? No, no, it was I, hot. It, it, it was hot women. But let me let me flip that. I think it's a slap in the women's face. I think yeah, it's so a slap strip clubs. But you go to them, right? That's what I'm saying. I think it's a slap in your face, though, to promote it as saying this is a real football league. That's why women should coach. That's the fight back I get, Jeff. No, it's not a real football league. It is a lingerie league that is sexualizing right, but, women right, to be they, naked. But they this, the, they decide to play, and they willingly want to That's be a part of I have no issue with it. That's my thing. But don't use that as your league of experience to get a head coaching job at oh, the NFL. Sure. Sure. No, but that's what they're doing. That's my whole argument with this. I have no – I'm with you on all your shit. I'm saying this is the experience league they're using to get a job interview in the NFL. A lingerie fucking league or a, or a woman's tackle league that is performed by lawyers, doctors, and cops. Because, listen, I fuck with a few. I know some females that played in a real tackle league. My buddy was the head coach for one and well, Let me ask you, though. What if – have you ever seen that film Little Giants? Yes. Love what it. What about if the kid was like Icebox, the girl, she was like a great player. She was like just better than everyone else. Listen, what if they were like that? Have you seen Remember the Titans? Sure. Of course. Okay, so the daughter in the show, right? No, it's a film. There. I get it. I'm just saying, what if in real life you're on a high school campus and this you, you see this person hitting? Like I get in her movies, but what if you see a, a kid hitting? She's They're burying people. You find out it's a woman. Would it make it any less fact that she's she's good? Because no, I, I actually know this and study it, Jeff. This is what I mean. Back in the day, the fastest girl in California, or the I mean, the fastest person in California at, at, when we were in elementary school was a girl. Right. Her name was Elaine Small. I, I grew up with her whole family. That's why I know the name. She went to Hershey, Pennsylvania, which is the biggest track event I every mean. year. Every year, there's a huge thing in Hershey. You're invited, the fastest people in the country. She won Hershey three times. She got to be 13 years old, 14 years old, and all of a sudden, she's not the fastest no more, Jeff. She's slow now. She's okay, fucking slow now. But, okay, but that's not my, 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 my No, my only point is when girls and boys are young, girls are often ahead of them in the evolutionary part of athletics. That means they advance a little quicker. They actually have their tendons and their joints and their other things actually are accelerated. That's why they stop growing quicker than men. That's why men grow later. Women pop, pass, plateau out. This is all science. They are very equal or ahead of men as young people. But when they get older, men become men. Women stay women. Fair enough. That said, I can see a nine year old tackling my boy, Jeff. Yeah. And okay, I'm going to be like, but what if, oh, but, but, but that wasn't my question. What if you were a football coach in, I don't know, Nebraska, coach, and you are there and you you get the job? You're, that's your team. And you assemble the team from last year, your starters and everything. And you see a defensive end just burying people. She takes off her, they talk off their helmet and it's a woman. Are you going to get rid of her off the team? You said at high school? Yeah. No, because I would already known there was a woman on the team if I'm taking a job. I, I get what you're saying, but that's not going to happen because – Also, who was girl. hired from the Laundry Football League or tried to get a job because of it? I don't remember any of them. Who? Who Who tried to get a job that coached in the uh, Laundry Football League? I, I may, may have missed that. There's three females coaching in the NFL right now. Their only experience was coaching and playing in the Laundry League. And and I and I've argued it and said, really, that's a fucking equivalent on a resume over over a bunch of cats who have grad assistant coats for <laughs> D Come Jones on. makes D Jones makes an interesting point. He says, if baby Gronk gets offered at 10, why can't my daughter? He wasn't. He's not. It's all it's all what do you call know. it? What do you guys call that? Uh what do you call that shit? Uh cliche? Know. What do you call yeah, it? Yeah, it's 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 for show. I get it. Yeah. Um 